Hey, I'm Eric Doring with Shimano. I'm going to talk to you about some of our new 2013 and 2014 parts here at the Shimano booth at Sea Otter. So what we've got here in front of us is our new Dura-Ace Di2. And this is on a bike built with our Dura-Ace 9000 series mechanical parts, as well as our new, newest, latest, and greatest Di2 electronic shifting. So uh, this is actually our fourth generation of electronic shifting and the second iteration of Dura-Ace Di2. What's great about this new system is it's an 11-speed system, and with our new E2 electronics and wiring system on it, it's actually a plug-and-play type of group. So we can accommodate a different variety of riders and their riding types because you can actually custom program what each of the buttons does on the system. You have a lot more control in terms of what types of uh, shifters you can do because there's a port on here so you can plug in uh, climbing switches here to your handlebars. You can put sprinter switches here and you can have your traditional drop handlebar levers and shifters. You actually can hook this up to your PC and control what every button does. You can control a multi-shift function. You can control how many shifts it does at once. You can even get down to the level of controlling the speed of the shifts, how quickly the bike shifts. That level of control is unheard of in an electronic shifting group. Uh, this is the first time our Dura Ace 9070 has been lighter than the mechanical, uh, and that's really exciting. And there have been a ton of new advancements in this group. Also on this bike are new Dura Ace 9000 series wheels. Dura Ace 9000 series wheels were completely redone for 2013. We offer them in 24 millimeter, 35 millimeter uh, depth, also in 50 and 75 millimeter more aero depth for our Blade series wheels. So that's very exciting. Uh, the other bike right behind, we just announced here at Sea Otter 2013 our new XTR uh, 980 series edition. Um, so with XTR, this was the first time we actually had two product groups within an overall component line. So we have a race group and a trail group. And what we're seeing here on this bike is new race editions. So for the elite level cross country racers racing here at Sea Otter and on the World Cup circuit, uh, obviously weight is a big thing. So we reduced weight in these race series by introducing new 29er carbon fiber composite tubular wheels. Very, very lightweight, around 1,300 grams a set. We have new lighter weight disc rotors on this body uh, that save weight. And they also use our ice technologies. So these, this actual waffled looking aluminum section on the disc rotor reduces heat in the system. And we have a new lighter weight magnesium disc brake, uh, hydraulic disc brake system. Um, it's really exciting because magnesium is really hard to work with, very temperature sensitive, but because we have these new advanced ice technologies rotors and ice technologies pads, we've been able to reduce the heat, optimize it to be used with magnesium. So it's very exciting because that's a new lighter weight hydraulic disc brake system and uh, these new advanced ice tech rotors. We've also introduced a new chain in terms of drivetrain, the new XTR series. There's a new coating on this chain called Siltec. And what that does is that adds durability. We introduced it first on our 9000 series, 11 speed uh, road group, and it will now be available in XTR in this chain, XT and SLX groups. Uh, kind of the last uh, piece of the puzzle in the new XTR editions is a new lighter weight bottom bracket that's hidden inside the frame. Lighter weight and more durable. So, in terms of, you know, these two groups, they're definitely focused on elite level kind of racing performance on the road with Dura Ace DI2 9070 and 9000 and with the new XTR race components. Okay, when will you see these uh, on the marketplace? We'll see the uh, drivetrain components for XTR available late summer, probably around August time frame, and the wheels will be available in fall. Uh, Cost-wise, should we look on uh, look no, down the road? Yeah, no pricing's been announced yet, so okay. stay tuned there. Thank you.